Thou the King with your justice, O God, the royal Son with your righteousness. He will judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. The mountains will bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. He will defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. He will crush the oppressor. He will endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon, through all generations. He will be like rain falling on a mown field, with showers watering the earth. In his days, the righteous will flourish. Prosperity will abound till the moon is no more. Let your justice roll down like a mighty river, your mercy like unending streams. These are the words uh, made famous uh, from Martin Luther King, um, but we, we know that they, they actually come from the book of, book of Amos. So my son, uh, his name is Amos, we gave him that name because of uh, just the theme of justice that runs through that book. and. And, and psalm, uh, this psalm that we're reflecting on here, 70, Psalm 72, it, uh, it speaks of, uh, of a day when, when justice will reign uh, on the earth. And we, we don't need reminders, really, um, of all the injustice that, um, that are in our world today. One in every 100 people on earth is a refugee. Uh, racial tensions everywhere we look, ethnic cleansing all over the world. Um, it seems often like um, injustice is reigning and injustice is winning. Uh, but this Advent, we look towards we look towards God's coming kingdom, where His justice and His righteousness will reign, where uh, where things will be made right. Um, things that are not right right now will be made right by our Lord and our King. Uh, so maybe take some time today uh, to, to long for that day, not just to sit around and wait and hope, um, that is a good thing to hope, uh, but to do something about it, uh, to join Jesus in his reign and his rule uh, on the earth today uh, and declaring his justice and his righteousness to see the oppressed free. Whom priest and prophet long foretold does break the captive letters and brings the Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end and bring the grace of God.